You guys won't believe it. I thought this day would never come. To be honest with you, I didn't think I'd, I'd be able to do it. I just, I can't believe it. Bird nerds, what's up? It's Chris here. I uh, came out to feed the birds and stepped into the flight here, just not paying attention. I was just in my routine. I just got in here, I was trying to hurry, and I had a chick fly into my to my leg. So today, we, our our amadamia chicks fledged, and to be honest with you, I'm so excited. I know these birds, they're not, they're not the most pretty. Um, they're probably never gonna be super popular because they're not uh, very attractive. I put them on the same level as a the cutthroat. They got a little bit of color, but they're mostly browns and grays. Um, but I am so excited because this is the first time ever that I've raised red, red, redhead amadamias. I've tried for years to parent raise cutthroat chicks and have never been able to. The parents always would toss or stop feeding the babies about a week along. Um, and this is the second clutch that this bird's raised, the, this pair. The first one, they did the same as the cutthroats. About a week in, they stopped. And I think it's because I was checking the nest. And, and I, I probably shouldn't have done that. So this one, I only did, I only checked two times while they were in the nest. The one time to show you guys the pictures and the video. And they were pretty far along. And then the, the first time was, or the second time, was like when they were only about a week old and I didn't even know that they had chicks in the nest. I just was pulling down nest boxes to see what, where they were at and I had five chicks in there and I was just blown away. So super excited guys. Um, so it's a good day. We, we've had these last couple of weeks, we've had some good, some good birds fledge. fledge. We've had um, shaft finches fledge from two different pairs um, and I'll show you those. We had our um, our fostered redhead amadamia chicks fledged, and we had three that fledged. One didn't make it, um, the other two did, and one's a redhead, one's a yellowhead. Um, and also on these chicks that just fledged, so I've got two males and three females, which is great because I'm a little male heavy, which will be nice. Um, and one of the males is redhead, one of the males is yellowhead. So obviously, my male split to yellow, and my female. She's either yellow or she carries a gene. I'm not sure how the genetics work exactly. I'm thinking that she is yellowhead, um, carries that gene, um, and then the male is split. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. But it makes me think, because I was thinking for my fosters, I said, hey, my yellow one, because I have a yellow-headed pair, and I pulled eggs out, and I mixed them with my red-headed pair and threw them under my society finches. So my one yellowhead, now I'm questioning if it was from my actual yellowheaded pair or if it was from my redheaded pair and they just threw a yellow. So I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll never really know. So um, I'm still going to treat it as it was the yellow pair, uh, but we'll see. I don't know. But really excited, guys. So let's, uh, let's show you some babies. Oh, and we've got our self-society babies that have weaned and they're already starting to molt. They're looking really good. They're kind of looking a little rough right now because they're molting, but um, I think they're super cool looking. So we'll start with them and then we'll show you these amadamias last. Um, hope you guys enjoyed Mikey's uh, video of him singing. He's been super, uh, super friendly today. He's been wanting to be a part of the show again. So we figured I'd give him a little bit more uh, time and, and also pink lemonade. She always loves the attention. So they're still out here flying around. They may land on my shoulder here in a minute, but so let's uh let's show you these chicks real quick. 
All right, let's start with this, uh, our self society. So we have a, a light brown, and then we have two uh, dark chocolate self. You can see they look rough. They're, they're already molting. So society finches, their chicks molt pretty quick after weaning. Um, not like the Goldian finch where it takes months and months for them to molt out. Society uh, finches, they molt fairly quickly and they usually do it, uh, it's kind of like a hard molt. I mean, they'll, they'll, they look rough for a week or two and then they're in their adult plumage and, and moving on. So they, they, they're pretty quick in progression on their molts and uh, really just transitioning from juvenile to, to adults. They're pretty darn quick at it. So they look a little rough, but super excited. Um, Glad that I had them. The, the pair is actually nested again. Looks like their eggs are going to be hatching here probably in about three to four days. Um, and then also my pair that had fostered my redhead amadamias, they've laid again as well. So that light brown one in the middle came from that pair that fostered my am redhead amadamias. I just transferred that chick, really it was an egg because it hadn't hatched yet, down into the bottom nest and they were able to hatch it out and, and raise it up. So excited about that. So hopefully we'll get some more society finches here in the next couple weeks as well. Which again, if you guys watch my previous videos, I've always, for some weird reason, have had a hard time breeding the self society. So I'm glad that we're getting some uh, some good action and progress this year. And it, I think it helps that I uh, acquired two females and those females are the ones that are laying for me. So excited about that. Let's jump up here to the fostered redhead amadamia chicks. So I did throw in the female adult with them, uh, really just to hopefully help them get used to their own kind and stop and not being with the society finches. I wish it was a female that I could, or a male that I could put them in there because then they could listen to his song and start mimicking it. I haven't heard them start trying to sing yet, uh, but I'm, I'm worried that they're gonna uh, take the, the society male song but we'll see, I'm not sure yet there. So you can see we've got a red one, a red head and a yellow head, um, and then the, the adult female there. So they're doing really well, they're weaned, doing great. So um, just we'll wait for my this other clutch to wean and then we'll uh, kind of figure out what we're gonna do with them uh, and, and um, if we're gonna sell them, if we're gonna maybe try and set up a pair. That extra female that I have in here is not blood related to any of the chicks that I have currently. So. So we've got an option to at least set up a third unrelated pair, uh, which will be nice, or we might just uh, sell them and um, keep just the two original pairs that we have currently. So, and then up top here, let's get this open. And so we've got our two shaft tails. There we go. It's kind of a little bit hard. That light's making it a little bit hard to see them, but. So we've got two shaft tail babies in there. Uh, they're weaned and changing into their adult col colors. You can see their beaks are getting close to orange, all the way orange. So excited for that. So they, they came from my my pair that's in this aviary here and they've started to nest again. So hopefully we'll get some, some chicks there from them, but uh, again, and then let's see if we can, there's my, other shaft tails feeding their babies. So they just fledged three chicks. I'm trying to move slow to not disrupt to get you guys close enough to, to see. There you go. So of course right when I get there is when they stop. But so we've got three three shaft tail chicks in there. Uh, that's really exciting and let's see if we can get focus a little bit better for you guys. There we go. There's mom sitting right there next to him. She's gonna feed him again, let's see. And then there's dad. We got both mom and dad sitting right there. So I do have three pairs of shaft tails in here. So I, I will be removing one pair uh, just because the, the males have been fighting quite a bit actually. Um, so I'm gonna remove one pair. I think the other pair's uh, starting to, wanting to breed and that's why they're fighting with the other males. So those shaft tail chicks, they've been, they fledged about five days ago. So doing really well there. You can see up there above them, there's one of my amadamia chicks that fledged. I did get them all banded today. I saw that they fledged. So I hurried and banded them and I'll throw, I'll pop in. I think I have two videos there of one of the male and one of the females that I banded. I'll show you guys that real quick right here. 
I'm just pulling out these chicks that have already fledged. We're gonna, we're gonna band them here. Look how cute they are. My goodness, nice and full. They do have some dirty vents, but probably because they've got five in the nest and they've been all crammed in there. So I'm not that worried about it. They look fully feathered. They're healthy, they're active. They're flying to the top of the perches. I mean, some good looking birdies there. So this one's a female because it doesn't have any color on her head. So cute. Hi guys, we got one of my males. We're gonna try and just, I've had lots of people ask me how I, how I ban these, any of my birds really. So we've got, got my bands ready there. So they're already pre-cut. So I just, these are just the, these are like the simple um, craft closed rings here. And then usually what I'll do is I'll just take some scissors and cut them so that they have an opening. And then I slide them on my little application tool. And I got the application tool from, uh, I think it was Lady Goldian Finch and I, I had ordered some bands from them a while ago. So I just put it on there, see how it split. And then let's see how we can make this work here. So then I get their foot open, slide it on. Close it, push it off, and there you go. For these guys, I'm banding both their legs um, so I can tell the difference between these parent raised ones and the difference between the, my foster's ones. So, and there we go. So, glad that we could get them all banded. Mom and dad, they're clothes banded, so they will be easy to, to tell apart, but, um, just to, just to make sure that I can tell uh, these babies apart, especially from the foster one. So we got another one. So that one's the yellow one down there. Then we've got a female and another female. She's gonna go there. I got two of my, both my female babies. They're hiding there in the corner. Um, they like that corner. So and we've got that male. And then like I showed you before, we've got the other male and he's the redhead. So. They are looking great. They're fully feathered. Mom and dad have been very attentive to them. They've already, I've already watched them feed them. Here's mom right here. I just put egg food in, so they're uh, wanting to, to feed. The floor is a mess, um, but I, I purposely haven't cleaned it because I knew I had these chicks in here. So we'll give them about a week and um, make sure that they're starting to eat on their own before I really start cleaning in here and, and disrupting the flow. So here's dad over here. Proud dad. So cool guys. Seriously, I get so excited. Just love it. So let's close that up here. I'm trying to think if we've got any other chicks. Oh, there's pink lemonade. Hi, sweetie. Let's uh, put you back in the cage now that you've flown up onto us. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right, Mikey, should we put you back in your cage too? Say goodbye. Well guys, I think that's all that we have for right now. All the, the chicks, just really excited. We could get those, those chicks out of the nest. Hopefully we can get all of them weaned and um, be excited. Even the chicks, that they can stand their own ground. If they have a bird that sits next to them they don't like, they'll peck at them and shoo them away. So um, I think they're uh, adjusting well to <laughs> to the aviary life. So if you guys drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if any of you have ever bred or even seen a redheaded amadamia in captivity. So they're, they're not too common in these parts. Uh, it's the first time that I've ever really seen them and uh, obviously bred them as well. So we'll see you guys next time.